boys and girls, here we are again in the pink cave. <laughs> Once again, no pink base. They're all here. They're tucked away in their nice little rat sleeping. But in the meantime, we are looking at the Ripper. <laughs> okay, so this is the Gibson Ripper. This is a 1974. This is made out of alder. Uh, in some of them were maple, some of them were alder. This particular one, very cool, is an alder base uh, with a nice maple neck. The standard for the Ripper uh, is this was like the Cadillac of the Grabber line. So you have the Grabber, the G3, which is the three singles. The Grabber, remember, is the slider. And this one has two nice Sidewinder style humbuckers. Fun. This one has a cool circuit. Uh, it's different than the Grabber and the G3 because it obviously gives you some variations. You've got a Veritone with four positions. Now, one of the positions on this is this very out of phase kind of 70s cool disco ooh, -ooh kind of thing or this cool little funky thing that you use and some people use those in skin flicks. But anyway, in this case we're not doing that. So the setting on this bass that would normally have that out of phase sound has been rewired so we actually have a back pickup that is soloed out. This was the mod that everybody talks about. They should have done it years ago. No point. These things haven't been made since the early 80s, so it's all good. Other than that, standard volume and two tone controls, one for each pickup. So we're going to go through and just kind of tinker around here a little bit. Again, we've got four positions here on the Veritone switch. Standard stuff here. Okay, this is a pretty cool base, and uh, they came in just a handful of colors. So let's go up with number one. I'll leave everything dimed. see this sound is rather boomy. Standard Gibson bass kind of stuff. Boomy. Again, no thumb yet. Wait till we get to the setting. Okay, so this is setting number one. Now, setting number two. Two on this particular base, back pickup only. Nothing up front, everything in back. Here comes the thumb. For those of you who don't like slap, just turn away for a sec. We'll slap this for a minute. We'll come back to setting three. See, it works. So, again, I'm just screwing around with this right now, but this is the back pickup. is wired. We're just going to guess. There are sites out there that tell you what all the standard wirings and stuff for this thing, what each setting should be for. Flyguitars.com is one of those. You can look at, click Ripper, click to the sound clips and it'll tell you setting 1, 2, 3, 4, it'll tell you what it is. Since this one's slightly different, I can't go by what they say. So this is what setting 3 sounds like. Setting four. This is front pickup only. If you hear that big cramp sound, it's because the string is actually getting super close to the pull piece because I haven't set this one up yet. I'm still using the strings that came on it because it showed up today. Almost has the front sound of a pick. Uh, pick. Front sound of a rick pickup, but it's not. So let's dial this down. So 
it really has that kind of Gibson, that spongy kind of rubbery sound. what it does, that's what Gibsons are known for. Let's jack the tone back up. So that's what it sounds like with a tone on. So let's pick a setting, shall we? Let's go with two. Or slap. Since you all love slap so much. Just kidding. Should we go there? Nah. So as you can see, there's a lot of little things about this guitar. These are pretty entertaining when you get right down to it uh, because you have the options. Again, depending on how they're wired. One thing you want to pay attention to when you buy one of these, find out if somebody pulled out the little choke. There's a choke inside here that's part of the electronics. kind of works with it to make it have the sounds that it has. A lot of times when people modify these, they take the choke out. This particular one has the choke in, so it is what it is other than the one setting. And the one setting could be put back to factory with a simple swipe of a solder in there. We're not doing it today. So if you have questions about this guitar, Gibson basses in general, grabbers and G3s and all the other fun stuff, post your comments here. Otherwise, let's go play some bass. Till next time.